Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 13, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're willing to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And let's get to it. We'll start by looking at WTI oil futures. And as you can see, it has basically fallen off a cliff yet again. 8 percent to the downside and uh, we are head we are just above the 200 moving average breaking below here well that will send this market significantly lower probably all the way down towards 85 at first then towards uh, 70 uh, 76 and then towards uh, the previous bottoms here of roughly uh, 65 which is also the expectations for oil um, in the long term but commodities are kind of given a characteristic at this moment that the united states is going to in recession or the world is basically going into recession if you look at oil natural gas copper uh, basically any commodity they are all falling significantly especially copper fell really hard today as well and and that is a usually a sign that we are expecting a recession uh, going forward but I kind of I don't expect this to basically fall off a cliff straight away below the 200 moving average. It should be a bounce here, um, which usually is, as we saw right here. Uh, but we have sold out significantly. That's also why I'm saying that we're at 30, 35 at this current stage, so we're on the edge of being oversold. Um, but in the long term, we may see the 50 moving average across the 200 moving average. And that will be a massive indication that we are going to see um, a market in decline in, in the oil. So we may see um, the 50 moving average do something like this and the 200 moving average go in this direction. And when that crossing, we have that golden crossing that usually is a sign that the market in the long term is going to be significantly bearish. The last time we had a crossing of those two, we have to go all the way back here. This is 2020 when we had those that crossing. So it's going to be interesting to see. It doesn't doesn't have to happen. You can see that we did also have a significant drop here in 2021 below the, the 200 moving average and then it um, continue uh, to the upside. But if we have a recession, this usually drops significantly. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is also bearish, and we are on the edge of being oversold, and therefore a bounce from here could be expected. If we rally, then the 50 moving average, of course, will offer a significant uh, resistance, as we have tested it twice here in the recent days. 20 simple moving average is moving this direction, and that should also offer a significant resistance. So just rallying up towards that point, that should also be an area of of resistance. So let's look at natural gas and natural gas also is getting rejected. It did rally all the way up towards 6.8, which uh, should be the 38. Uh, if we look at the Fibonacci retracements, that is fairly close to the uh, the 38.2, which is roughly at the $7 and getting rejected there quite heavily and therefore we may drop back towards the 200 uh, moving average. Uh, we The 50 moving average is fairly far away, but in the long term, we will most likely see the 50 moving average also cross the 200 moving average. Uh, we could see this market just go sideways, not dropping below the 200 moving average. But if we do drop below the 200 moving average, then $4 will most likely be where we'll find the bottom. As we can see that we found a lot of buyers around this area the last time we were here and then shot to the upside. Also, that will take quite a bit of time and it will enter a colder period of the year and therefore demand should be increasing as well. MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is becoming bearish, and RSI is bearish, and there's still a lot of room to the downside. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. Good luck, and thank you very much.